good morning everyone can you see my uh, screen yeah we yeah. can see you yeah, yeah okay and uh, i should say dr chadak has put me on a very very uh, disadvantageous position after six great talks where 80% of my thought process has been covered in a beautiful slides so i don't have any gaurava what i would request you say everything na huh? <laughs> how you have come around to this you say everything okay sir thank yes. you uh, so i would just i thought i kept my slides just to scientific advice for a replacement but i reflect upon some of the things also what i feel that uh, which are right things to do uh, right i think this is this slide epitomizes all the practice now आज मेरे पास दी डॉक्टर्स वी ऑल बिलोंग टू अमिताभ बच्चन आज मेरे पास सुपर स्पेशलाइजेशन डिग्री है गोल्ड मेडल्स है इंटरनेशनल पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन है टन्स ऑफ गुड स्किल्स है क्या है तुम्हारे पास शशि कपूर आर एम पी डॉक्टर मेरे पास पेशेंट्स है ओके एंड दिस इज दोल प्रैक्टिस और वाई दिस डिस्कशन इज देयर टूडे सो बेसिकली इट ऑल डिपेंड्स ऑन हाउ टू मैन्युफैक्चर ए पेशेंट आई एम सॉरी टू यूज दिस वर्ड but this is the way it is it is not in any more like dr tanas days how to treat a patient now how to manufacture a patient because it's like a manufacturing process you have to put a design you have to put a plan into place you have to do lot of uh, uh, testment test things everything and all that but i'll say still today the art of medicine or practice of medicine is an art and as well as a science so like that getting a patient into your hospital is also an art that art should be mastered and can be mastered it is never taught in the medical schools and i will tell you the there are two things one is how to get the patients to your op and number two the which is my talk is how to convert this op into your ip so getting into the opd patient depends on your reputation and your credibility in the society which my previous speaker dr jawhar sir has alluded in a such a comprehensive way there is nothing much for me to leave but what i developed in the in my last 20 years of practice is you have to pamper the patient i call p the p nothing no treatment we don't treat the patients we pamper the patient that is the only way so my pampering starts from this part my hospital has got 10 people with wheelchairs waiting outside the moment a guy drops down from the auto or from the car these people will go and pick them into the wheelchair that is the one first impression because a lot of the hospitals patient has to get down and search for a wheelchair so that should not happen so the pampering should start from the entrance of the hospital and second thing is uh, when our patients do not need to stand in the queues i got some four or five non negotiable rules in the hospital one of them is no patient should stand they either they sit in the chair or they will sleep in the bed in the uh, in patients that's the only way to be as to have patient to be so the patients are the moment they come help desk will uh, welcome them they will make them sit in the uh, waiting room and the counselors will go to them and take their details and then they will get the registrations so patient is not allowed to stand in the queue for registration that however busy the opd sir i got at least 10 people who are there to stand up and do that and all my opd patients and they run to around almost 400 a day uh, 150 for opd and their relatives all put together 400 500 people they are supplied free coffee tea biscuits and depending on the summer the lassis and if the patient is diabetic free sandwiches it will cost me some thousands of rupees but so be it but this is a genuine concern of me and this will send an indicator to the patient and relatives that this doctor cares for us that is very important this is not a drama this is a genuine concern for the patient because they don't know when they are getting getting called inside so they don't go anywhere they just wait outside so this is very important for me and again this is a post operative or waiting area for the relatives when their kin are getting operated and this girl is my co operative counselor so the, she will supply the lunch boxes to all the relatives waiting in the uh, waiting area while their relatives are getting operated so this is the simple thing it costs around 100 rupees 
one drink one biscuit packet and one sandwich and that is nicely put it into a, a sunshine snack and we would like to thank you for giving us an opportunity to take care of you that is the uh, slogan i put it there and that girl is little miss sunshine this is how how you brand it and how you do that just like airline services and again another important rule i tell to my pay, uh, our staff is no patient or relative is allowed to carry their luggage this patient is getting discharged now you can see my ima is carrying the baggage no relative is allowed to carry their baggage this is again a non negotiable principle in my hospital and again in our hospital discharge is a celebration i don't call it as a process it is a celebration so my nursing superintendent my patient care manager and if possible the consultant we go to the patient give her the discharge hamper with some goodies and then see her off at the car park that is mandatory again these are the things which will leave indelible impressions of that personal touch or personal care to the patient and i will tell any doctor should have these five a's to be successful accessibility affordability amicability accountability and last is ability because i would put it last because even if you are not able one doctor tanna or one doctor chanda can operate in the operating theater nobody knows you can be a ghost surgeon many people are like that but the four first things are very important qualities you should have accessibility means anybody wants to reach you they should have a proper number they should be able to get in touch with you not on your personal number affordability i say nobody should have a brand that this doctor is a money minded amicability we all heard in the previous lectures and accountability as dr tanna said every complication is yours you should never go around the complication you should go through the complication that is the only way now let us come to the opd it need not be five star hotel but there are two things in your mind one is high impact areas of the patient and one is non impact area because the theater however drab it looks you don't the patient doesn't care because he is sleeping but the patient sees the outpatient department so the patient that's why the wherever the patient sees the hospital there should be good ambience spend money take a good flooring as the dr jawhar said nice good lighting make a nice uh, branding of the ambience there and the reception desk is very important hassle free registration process adequate number of counter avoid unnecessary waiting for patients i always say there should be a girl who doesn't have a computer who doesn't have a telephone she is called floater she just stands in front of administrative or reception desk her job is to ask every come person comes there to ask may i help you that's all as simple that she doesn't have any other responsibility she just keeps on asking may i help you may i help you and that is very very important and again this here that is what it is this is a, a patient respect uh, care manager she just stands there and asks the patients or relatives can i help you and again as i already told you tea coffee lassi sandwiches are served free and of course i got a luxury of uh, i got 15 fellowships every year and i got registrars i got at least 20 to 25 post ms guys who will be doing the screening but uh, as i said if you don't have that luxury at least you should have one proper doctor to do the screening for you rather than you wasting time on that and good dress makes a good doctor already alluded in the previous things i would say unless you are coming from operating theaters you should always have a suit this i learned in my days in england a well dressed doctor and especially the youngsters the question was asked if the youngster has to look great he should have a suit a proper suit again not a, a crumpled suit a proper suit and change the tie every day you don't need to change the blazer every day but change the tie every day a clean polished shoe these are all things which make difference and another important rule in my life is even if a fourth class employee or even a im or even a lift boy comes into my room the first thing i offer is chair i ask him to sit if he doesn't sit i stand that is very important that is a fundamental civility or fundamental uh, respect to a gentleman who is in front of you so like that the moment a patient or relatives come even if there are 10 relatives you should make all of them sit get the chairs until they are seated don't start the conversation and another thing is already 
Dr. Jawhar sir told, the sweetest word in the whole world is the name. So the, your case note should come before the patient onto your desk and the native place also you should know. The moment patient comes, you should say, I, Ch Chandak or Manoj, how are you doing? And how is the things in Bombay or Thane, wherever he comes from? And if you have got a bit of uh, political or a, a climatic information about that, or a recently floods have come, how are the things there? So give that impression, don't talk anything until the first minute. And then give your cell phone to your secretary. It's already referred in the previous speaker. The worst thing you can do to yourself in nowadays is having yourself and being interrupted by wife, your driver, and your girlfriend. Don't do that. So give the cell phone to your secretary and let her note down all the calls and give it to you while you are going back for to your home. So please don't be interrupted by the cell phones. And again, there are four T's to win any relationship, whether it is a wife and husband, our patient and doctor, our father and son. Time, I call four T's. Time, touch, trust, and talk. And how many times we forgot the touch? Of course, unfortunately, nowadays with the touch of this thing, Me Too syndrome, you touch a person in the wrong way, that's a different story. But the touch is very important. You put a hand on the shoulder of the patient or take the patient's hand into your hand, she will not leave you and she will not forget you. So same thing, trust and time and talk. And fruitful five minutes of the, your consultation, Number one is building rapport, calling the name and talking to his native place. Number two, minute history. Number one minute for examination. Fourth is a treatment plan. Fifth is the parting shot. That means in the fifth minute, the moment a patient is about to exit, you got to summarize the treatment, what you have told, and then tell, hey, Manoj, I think it's a pleasure to see you, boy. Take care of yourself and take care of your son who is appearing for the exams, and we will meet you some other time. So like that, you should have a parting shot. It should as like a person came to your home and high expectations and false promises. It is the worst thing a joint replacement surgeon can do. Never ever give 100% guarantee syndrome. You got to resist that. And again, don't expect them to come like that, to go like this. That is the worst thing you can offer. Again, as I told you, IPS, don't. The lady comes like that, don't expect them to go like this. So water down their expectations. Always expectations should be watered down. New joint forever, don't give that. 100% guarantee. A lot of people ask me 100% guarantee. I tell them only two people can give you 100% guarantee. One is God. Second one is a fraud. I am neither. So that sums up my statement. You can use that statement. That is very easy to use. So only God and fraud can give you. I don't want to be God. I am not God. And I can't give you the false statement. And neighbor syndrome. They say my neighbor got better. I'm not getting better. Again, another rubbish of the things. And do not act as Superman. As I said, you are not a God's gift to orthoplasty. You are still very infallible, vulnerable, and be that. But never be uncertain of your time. That's what. You got to be assertive, but don't tell that whatever I do, I never had a complication. As Dr. Tanna said, don't do that. Only the fellow who didn't have the complications is number one, the man who never operates. That's all. So again, never try to outsmart the patient, especially the urban patients. The internet syndrome is there. So again, whatever the patient says, you act at least as though you're giving a lot of emphasis to the patient's uh, symptom. So again, do not show any of your vulnerability to the patient. However young you are, you got to say that you are the best and you are the best in the business. As they establish rapport with the patient, involve the relatives. The patient, the patient. Very, very important point. I'm call all the relatives inside. Already Dr. Jawar said, the more relatives, the better it is because these guys are the collateral impressionists. They will go and tell some other people, all right, Dr. Gurwaradi has done a great job. So call all the relatives, make them sit and identify the lead guy. There will be one lead relative, either the daughter-in-law or the son-in-law or the mother-in-law, father-in-law. You identify them, you look into their eyes and then talk to the conversation and be them as a part of your treatment. As I said, but sometimes the relatives are very, very dangerous. Uh, the moment you say the only way to get rid of the relatives is ask the blood donation, they will disappear. So be aware of the relatives. How is it delivered is as important as what is delivered. Already I told you the quality of the packaging that matters. Now coming to the counseling, Dr. Jawar already said, all the physiotherapists of my department are trained as a counselors. For all the youngsters here, the physiotherapy is the best pool to get into the counselorship. Offer them more money and these people should be promoted as you go along. So that is very important. She's my physiotherapist. She does the counseling. She calls them auntie, uncle, and she develops such a rapport, we don't need to do that. And always the counseling in the outpatient to convert them 
to a quarterly you should explain to them what happens before the procedure the day of the procedure and after the procedure there is another thing called bedpan phobia lot of patients do not express this but they are scared of bedpans so you got to tell them no need of bedpan the day two you will go to the bathroom that will create a lot of comfort to them and now counseling audio visuals packages date of surgery patient testimonials blood reservation and the road map these are all again one stop shop here the patient is counseled here the patient is blood taken the ecg is taken and here the patient is served the sandwich and patient is gone home so that is how you should make it all a one stop shop and how to retain a patient you already told this is thing and again how to convince the patient you got to have x-rays on your armamentarium you have to able to explain to them this is a normal joint this is grade 3 grade 4 now you are in this stage you have to get the operation and again use the patient information material i got my own personal dvds and pen drives made they are very purpose built you can do them no issues with the latest technology if you sit in the internet within one hour you can get your things you can use the models i use these models very very important and then they will understand that and again people in the hip replacement they will ask what are the types of implant i'll tell metal on poly ceramic on poly ceramic on ceramic i explain to them my preparing on the table now thanks to the 3d reconstruction and the complex fractures i ask them to come back next week and i get the ct scan done and i show them how they their knee looks or how their hip looks and what i am going to do and they will understand the complexity and they will appreciate the enormity of your job and they don't mind paying you extra this is a very important addendum for any of the youngsters if you got a complex fracture ask them to come back but let them get a ct scan done get the 3d our model done in every place there is a facility to get the 3d modeling done and again a chart of the procedures but don't show them the blood use the animation there is a plenty of animations again available on the internet use the animation show them how the knee replacement is done again an important slide a lot of people ask how many days a ceramic hip plus how many days a metal hip plus this is a beautiful illustrative slide you can tell them this is the where and they will understand very easily so these sort of the key slides are very important to tell them and again dr as dr chahor said i got the macro robot so you got to again explain to them the cutting edge of the technology and show the some slides where they will understand the and uh, what is the nitty gritty of this one and again patient testimonials get a nice videos before surgery and after surgery show these videos that will give lasting impression while the patients are waiting or while the patient are and gone to the counselor you don't tell this yourself you tell the slide this slide should be running on the tv so that patient knows how qualified you are how many degrees you had how many years you spent in england what is your position so they will understand this this is again dr jawhar told in a beautiful uh, explanation so they develop route maps and protocols again a beautiful english thing which i learned every problem you should have a route map and protocol this is my road map and my counselor will explain the patient starting from avgr as seen and our preop had done the cardiac has done suppose your cardiologist wants a dsc the coronary angiography then you will go in this route or you will go in this route and you are discharged so this will be self explanatory this will be self printed available to the patient and this should be given to the patient they understand very well so very very important internet inspired idiot syndrome you all know that you got to be prepared for this sort of guys and lot of people will keep on asking i am 100 kg whether i am fit for the operation and again show the some slides in your previous uh, uh, practice show them you can do it that's why again complex deformities put the slides you can tell them we can be happily doing this so again some people ask i am 90 year old am i fit for the surgery you can again show the slide these are my girlfriends who are 85 90 i operated them with a bit of humor no issues about that and show them and again the orthopedic evaluation sometimes preoperatively they end up on the cardiac table and they will be confused so you got to tell them if your heart doesn't agree for the operation the cardiologist might take you to angiogram and also explain to them the spinal procedures lot of people have got a misplaced myth that final anesthesia means back ache for lifetime so you got to tell them no no it is not the way and explain to them and again pain there is nothing pain free operation however good you are so again explain to the patient the relativity of the pain and the necessity of the pain and your ways to control the pain again very important point don't sell let them buy again already 
previous speakers to tell that let them buy the operation and don't let them judge in your consulting room let them go home and discuss in their living room you encourage that they will come back i tell them once wife can be somebody else wife but one patient can never be somebody else's patient so you develop that philosophical attitude you will be fine nri children are key to the decision making if you got a patient here the children are in america if the time is okay immediately take the phone number you dial from your phone to that son who is in chicago and explain that your parents are here they need knee replacement that guy will never let the parents go anywhere you are doing the effort to make the phone call so that's what it is from urban patients or doctors patients you can show some publication like this is the the latest this is one so it can give you some information like that but don't indulge them with too much scientific things don't counter other treatments again a lot of people say no sir the other doctor said only high tibial osteotomy is helpful you are saying knee replacement don't brush the other surgeon you can say that there is a different way to both the things but this is the way i am trained and i feel that this is the best way and again arthroplasty is a team sport again i told you you should have a good receptionist good secretary and again for the youngster don't wait until your money comes or until your uh, practice builds up get all of these people on the day one pay them from your pocket or take money from your father in law or buy you sell your car but get this team on the day one that is very important as i say build they will come not once they come you develop the teams no develop the team on the day one very very important point and the bigger the dream the more important is the team a chain is only as strong as its weakest link as dr jawar said you got to train all the people of your team day in and day out and these the team work again i got great teams and those are reflect my practice and again patient first every member of your team should have this badge on their lapels patient first that is the philosophy never put money as a primary goal it is incidental okay you have to be believe in that and you have to make the people believe in that so never get a label that this guy is a money minded you are doomed i'm telling you and about with the knee implants costing less and less never ever discuss the finances at dr jawar already told yourself if the patient asks how much this cost you tell them that my patient counselor will explain any problems is there i will take care of that and so never ever discuss the finances and then give brownie patients to the points to the patient that means the patient is doing good physiotherapy encourage the patient they are doing good and you will get excellent uh, relief if you got a vip patient the best way to use the technology is develop a whatsapp group where you your patient counselor your nursing superintendent your medical superintendent the patient son in america the patient's daughter in australia all of them in the whatsapp group that is the what's wonders it's a real time communication and they will appreciate that and finally let me tell you there is a there is a quotation whether you are a doctor of allopathy homeopathy or naturopathy you should have sympathy you are compassionate and human then you will win the games no matter of your drama no matter of your histrionics no matter of your false advertisement no matter of your selling yourself will not replace the compassion people like dr tanna are still respected at this age i don't know how young dr tanna is must be 80 but still people respect him in every conference and every part in bombay or all over india why because of his human nature and because of his ability to touch the souls of the patient that is how every one of us should practice compassion 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 nothing else matters and that is how you should do the practice all the other things are again a fringe benefits to that thank you so much mm-hmm.